Culture and Gender Equality in Celebration of Women International Day. The culture of gender equality is a pillar of cultural diversity and has a key role to playing challenging stereotypes and promoting societal change. The African Diaspora Foundation team interviews diverse community members to share their views in a short clip about gender gaps in the African diaspora community. Women bring a different or another dynamic, some perspective to leadership. So I think it's important that there is a good representation of women in leadership. We got to a point around the globe now that we should understand that one perspective doesn't tell it all. Women have proven beyond reasonable doubt to be very apt at leadership. They are naturally nurturing in nature, just like I said in you know my earlier statement. And they have a high sense of intuition, which makes them prone to showing empathy. Women make great leaders. Uh, they have a holistic approach to leadership, which is completely different from men's. And they also take a lot of things into consideration, like families when making decisions. So I think that's very important. Women in leadership, women are very resourceful because they're multitasking. And they have skills that are fantastic that men doesn't have. You know, and it will be good in the world to have the combination of strengths. I seen like women leadership, they give a, they bring a different empathy, a different, a different look to finer things. Um, they're more like soft when it comes to work. Men are more competitive, and women with leadership, they try to work as a team role and try to bring the best to the team. Women and leadership. Women already are making wonderful leaders. Uh, for example, Angela Mark of uh, Germany, she has been a leader of Germany for 16 years, although she's stepping down in September. And her party doesn't want her to step down because she has seen Germany through a very uh, difficult times. She's done a wonderful job. When you look at Yacinda Ardern of New Zealand, she's been doing a wonderful job since she was elected prime minister. When you look at uh, Sheikh Hossein of Bangladesh, She's a wonderful prime minister for the last, what, ten, over 10 years. Women and leadership. I think every woman should make their way to the top and own their success. I think that it's really vital women in leadership because I think it balances out the workplace and you can have um, the male traits and the female traits and I think they work quite well together. With, through my job sector, I have seen that. I work with police and I work in social services and with police. So police is very male or dom orientated and social service is very female and they work quite well um, between uh, between the qualities that they have and that's very vital in work. Uh, women in leadership, there's one name that comes in my mind and that's when I was growing up, is Margaret Tajet, but at the moment is Arikana. Um, a woman being in front of a line in an administration or being a leader, to me, I see it as a great advantage because women genuinely have a calm mind. They have a high sense of view, a high sense of humor. A woman's advice is very, very important. A woman's instinct is very strong. So like a man always listens to his wife, he always guides the man not to get involved in certain activities or in any risk. Uh, then you look at what Ellen Johnson did in Liberia. She first, I think she was first African woman leader. I mean, women have demonstrated that they can do even a better job than men when it comes to take on leadership roles. It's absolutely something that is uh, recently uh, growing and people are actually identifying the skills that women bring actually on the table, uh, which is more neutralizing. I believe that uh women leadership is very um, powerful. If a woman can multitask, I don't think any problem for women to become a leader and they become so powerful, especially when they've been given a task. I think that if a woman is well equipped for a position in leadership, then she should take the job. It depends on the actual capabilities of the person in question because in business you want the best person leading your team. I think women are better than leadership because they know how to treat their kids. The nature of women is mother, is a nature. 
A leader is the one who has people behind them and take them to where they want to go. And in French they say, quand la femme se met debout, les choses se font, which means when a woman stand up, things get done. So I think women are very good leaders because they are mentally stronger than men. Women in leadership, for me, it's about fairness. I think uh, women can multitask, uh, no disrespect men, but I think uh, women are much better in handling uh, d uh, disputes and also uh, they can handle situations much better than men, uh, only because I think we are more understanding naturally and we have the natural uh, caring instinct. Even in scriptures, we are born leaders, we are born to nurture the world. I think women leadership um, has made a lot of changes. If you look at play, um, women, such as Margaret Thatcher, you know, made a huge change in this country. I believe women in power is amazing to me. I think of women leaders, I think of, um, we are multitaskers, like we can get things done, so many things done at once that's a good quality to have. We have a um, stronger need to get things done as well. So once we put our minds to, to something. And then leadership, well, that's not a new concept. You know, you've got Khadija radiallahu anha, you've got women in Islam, you've got women in culture, different countries all over the world. So women in leadership is not a new concept at all. And it's something that, yeah, should be happening all the time. Women leaders are more empathetic and flexible based on research they have found that women leaders consistently possess these eight core leadership skills. Integrity, the ability to delegate, communication, self-awareness, gratitude, learning agility, influence, and empathy. African diaspora, let's come together.